Okay, we're back. Our last trivia scope crashed, so we are back now. I'm going to refresh my egg drop. Someone said I win. <laughs> You're here for the soap. Yes, the prize is soap. I'm sitting in the crack of the couch now because of the cat. Okay, now I definitely have no clue. <laughs> here, this is the soap. It's from Jerkface for Real. His name's Chris. He's in here. You can buy some from him if you don't win. We're not going to restart the whole game. We're not restarting the whole game, guys. Right now, Sonam is winning with six points. She's not back yet, so I'm just going to give her a minute to... She might be, like, rebooting her app. Do you wash with it or carve it? That's a good question. Do whatever you want. Yeah, it is like Mindy's show. Mindy was actually in here for my first trivia scope, and then she started doing them, and a bunch of people... I, I stole it from Advin. I mean, I'm sure he took the idea from someone else. I mean, we were all just, just doing it. Don't worry about her. You would say that, second placer. Sonam in the lead, I called it. Yes, we are back. There she is. Sonam's here. Sonam's here. We've got to make it fair. We can't, like, not have the person winning in the room when <laughs> we start up, back up again. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, Sonam, but Huda F was like, oh, don't worry about her. Let's just start. <laughs> of course he would say that. <laughs> I like trivia, I think, but I'm just guessing. Well, we'll see if you like it or not. Let's see. So Sonam is four points away from winning. And the second place is Huda F with five points. And third place is my best friend, Danique Yardi Yogini, and she's got four points. We're working. I do it from love. Yeah. How many... What? I don't know if this is a great question. I don't know if this is a great question. Unless I just don't know anything about sports. Okay, sports question. How many players are there in a baseball team? How many players are there in a baseball team? Sonam. Sonam got it. Okay, apparently the answer is nine. I would not have known that. I would have said, like, I don't know, like 15 people? Like, on the whole team? I don't know. They just mean on the field? I'm confused. <laughs> A team has seated. It's just, like, the people on the bench. 40 men on the roster. See, that's what I'm saying, Heckle. That's what I would have said. Not a full roster, just on the field. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Thank you, Danique. I love your brain, and I love that you know things about sports. Baseball is boring. Anyway, I agree, sinners. I think I'm with you there. How many hockey players on the ice? That's not a question. Someone, I was just reading comment. The question was not good. <laughs> Bad question. Throw it away. I agree. I don't think the question was great, but a lot of people said nine, so I think it was good enough to get the answer we were looking for. Can't, can't wait for the taco shop to open. <laughs> Wasn't asked that way. I agree. I agree. But you can take it up with this company, I can tell, or the uh, website, I can tell you what it is after we're done. If I tell you now, you're just going to go find all the answers. Replay. Yeah, yeah. Um, how many tailors are there on Periscope right now? Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Which TV character said, live long and prosper? Which TV character said, live long and prosper? Yes, Al. I saw Al come in first, but now I know my, my phone is not reliable, so let's just check. It was Spock. Spock, Spock, Spock. Mr. Spock. Yes, Al. Al came in first. Al gets the point. Al, you're on the board. Look at you. You just got here, and you're already racking up the points. There was a question about Canada earlier. It was about beavers. More, more, more. How do you like it? I like it. How many did you miss? Um, just one. I think that was the first question we asked since we came back. Or two. No, I think that was two. I'm sorry. I didn't know you weren't back yet. Uh, you just woke up. Oh, I don't like that comment. Clever, but no. Eggbot. Hello, Eggbot. So, I was going to say something. I don't know what it was, so we're just going to get back to the question. Oh, actually, I'm just going to ask a piggyback question. So what show is Spock from? What TV show is Spock from? Yes, Davis, 316. Star Trek, Star Trek. You have three points now, Davis. Woohoo! yeah. Sometimes it's fun to just kind of answer, like, ask an easier question right after. Okay, this is kind of a trick question, I feel like, but I don't care. I'm going to ask it anyway. I can do better than that. <laughs> I'm not coming up. That one was just, I'm, I like easy questions. I want everyone to have a chance. What kind of person shall not be honored on a U.S. postal stamp according to the U.S. Postal Service and the Citizen Stamp Advisory Committee? 
What type of person will not be on a stamp in the U.S.? Nope. It's, it's a little bit tricky. Yes, Al got it. Al got it. A living person. The person has to be dead to be on a stamp. I guess that's to prevent them from having any weird controversies before they go out. I don't know. Al has two points. You guys are going to give you a run for your money. He's here. He, he's Canadian, and he still knows the American answers better than we do. Sonam's also in the UK, and I think Michael might be gone, but he's in... Australia, Elvis isn't dead. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel like we've said that twice in the scope alone. Huger fish? I think I missed something. Someone block Al. He's not winning. Some live person would try to turn it into frequent flyer miles. <laughs> yeah. I'm in Japan. Can I get a point for that? No. You're already in second place. All right. What is the name of Batman's butler? What is the name of Batman's butler? Yes. Who to F? It's Alfred. I would have said Jeeves, too, Danique. I would have said Jeeves. Okay. Who to F? You have six points now, so you're still in second place because Sonam has seven, but we're getting close to the end. It's only ten. We're working to ten, okay? The average human body contains how many pints of blood? The average human body contains how many pints of blood? I haven't seen the answer yet. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know if this is correct, but I'm just going off what the website says. No, it's less than 10. How is no one said? Davis, there it is. Davis 316, the answer was nine. A lot of you said eight, a lot of you said seven, but the answer is nine. What? You said nine? You said nine? Let me look, let me look. I might have missed it. Wouldn't be the first time, right? Nine. Oh, this is going to take me forever to find. Everybody said nine. Nine. Nope, Sonam. Wait, who did I say it was? Who did I say it was? Was it Sonam? Yeah, I think it's Sonam. I'm sorry, who did I say it was? Was I wrong? I said it was you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it was Sonam. Sonam, I missed you. I love you still. Um, I don't know how I missed it. I thought I was looking very closely, but apparently not. So, I wonder if they come in fast enough, if they do just kind of like, disappear before you even see them or something. Next question, how fast can Taylor read? I thought I read pretty fast, but even when she doesn't say anything, she wins. She, did, she said nine. She said nine. <laughs> okay, Davis. I know I said it was you, but that's why we have Egg Drop, because Egg Drop is the authority here. Except the one time that I turned off the Wi-Fi. That one, that one was a little cheap. I'll give you guys that one. All right, so now she's only one point away from winning. She's got nine points. Um... You know what, what I'm going to do right now, even though I think most of these people are probably gone, I'm just going to, everyone that I messed up a point, I'm just going to give you guys a point too, because I feel bad. So, Hero Chow Boy gets a point. I'm not going to take away the point that I just gave to Davis. Catherine gets a point. Helter Skelter 34 gets a point. Who's Japan guy? And who? Who's Japan person? No. <laughs> He's in second place, so he doesn't get a point for being uh. in Japan. <laughs> My husband's trying to give you a point, who to have? <laughs> Everyone's like, me, I want points. <laughs> oh yeah, Zwart. Zwart, you still have a point. I don't I think I forgot to take your point away if I wasn't if I was supposed to, so you already have your point on here. Mr. Perfect gets a point. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, husband. He says. <laughs> Favorites now. I want a point. Can I cash in ten thousand hearts for five points? <laughs> hello, hello, Naveen. Okay. Oh, this is a good question. I like this. <clears throat> Which U.S. state is nearest to the old Soviet Union? Which U.S. state is nearest to the old Soviet Union? <laughs> Alaska, Davis, yes. Let me just check it because I know everyone's going to fight me. Don't fight me, guys. Don't fight me. Let me make sure that it was Davis indeed. Davis, yes. You got it. Fair and square. Five points. You have five points. That's really good, Davis. That's really good. I know one of those points was questionable, but it's happening. Because <laughs> I make the rules. That's the best part, you guys. You should, if you don't, if you don't like anything that I've done here, host your own trivia. It's like anything you don't like about other people's trivia, you can just do what you like. You know, the best rules. Yeah. <laughs> what movie is this quote from? Um, maybe The Last Samurai. I don't know. Okay. 
In which city is Jim Morrison buried? Don't break your phone. In which city is Jim Morrison buried? <laughs> my husband just whispered the answer. Yes, JMC608, welcome to my scope. You are on the board. You got a point for that one. It is Paris. Jim Morrison is buried in Paris. Mitch says, he's not dead. This is a trick question. <laughs> All right. HG is the chemical symbol of which element? HG represents which element? Hi, Peter. Mercury, yes, periscope heckle. Periscope heckle. Okay, someone's arguing they think they got it first. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Before that one, I know. Periscope heckle gets a point for that one. And who said they said it first? I thought I got it. Zombie master, I'll check for you. Check for you, homie. Uh, because we're talking about Paris, right? Zombie. Wait, no, I don't want to look up zombie. I want to look up Paris. <coughs> no? Okay. Um, the first person... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Somebody... Okay, wait, 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 wait. J JMC definitely was the person who said Paris first, so he gets the point. But I'm going to have to give Boxes for Balls another point as well because technically he said Pears first. He said P-A-I-R-S, which is obviously him trying to say Paris. He said that first uh, before Paris. So I'm going to give them both a point. And I think that's pretty fair because one person spelled it correctly. The other person said it first. So we're going for it. Boxes for Balls all the way. <laughs> you now have four points, Boxes for Balls, and you actually earned all your points fair. <laughs> Everyone agrees? That's good. He meant two places in France, Paris, to Paris and somewhere else. Half of him is one place, half of him is another place. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Oh, I would not have known this. So here's some questions for our European friends. The Pyrenees mountain range separates which two European countries? The Pyrenees mountain range separates which two European countries? And you have to say both of them, not just one. No? Yes, Willoughby, Willoughby Hood, you got it. It's France and Spain. France and Spain. I'm not exactly sure how to spell Willoughby, but Willoughby. It was Willoughby something, but I think you're the only Willoughby, so Willoughby it is. New York and Hawaii, you're funny. Oh, this is an easy one, guys. This is an easy one. But you have to say, all right, ready? I'm going to give you a little hint. For the answer in this, it has the word the in the beginning. You don't have to say the word the, but you do have to say the rest of the word, the rest of the name, okay? So you don't have to say the, but you have to say the rest. Everybody got it? Good, because I'm moving on. Which movie features the song Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead? Which movie features the song, Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead? You don't have to put the word the. Wizard of Oz, Davis got it anyway. He got it with the word, well, wait, wait, let me check, let me check. Because Sonam was really quick in there. I should just stop announcing it. I should just check them all. So, Wizard of Oz. Davis was first. I don't, I don't know if that's for this, but yeah, he was first. Okay, cool. He was. Yep, and then boxes for balls and Sonam was right behind him. Right behind him. Davis, you got six points. You're over the threshold to halfway to winning. So now we have first place is Sonam with nine points. She's only one point away from winning. And then we have Huda F and Davis in second place tied with six points. So Davis made a comeback. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Just gonna move on. Okay. In Fahrenheit, at what temperature? I would know this one. Does water freeze? At in Fahrenheit, at what temperature does water freeze? Yep. Boxes for balls. I'll check it because I know a lot of you got that all at once. But the answer was 32. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the freezing temperature. You guys are guessing um, boiling temperatures. I saw that. Yep. Boxes for balls. You got it. You just got in there first. Boxes for balls. You got five points, dude. You're halfway. Both equal at 40 minus 40. I'm confused. I think I might have missed something. I've been talking with you Brits too much. <laughs> I know you're like, I only know Celsius now. What do they call it? Centigrade? Am I making things up? 
Did boxes for balls just leave? All right, I guess he just wanted five points. That's all I needed. No, this is a good one. This is fun. This is a fun one, I think. Fun for me. This is all fun for me. All right. No, you're here? Oh, okay, good. Deep breath in. <sighs> Let it go. What is Chandler's last name in the sitcom Friends? What is Chandler's last... Oh, yeah, boxes for balls. I'll check it. I'll check it. I see you, Mitch. I see you trying to get in there. Let's check it. Bing. The answer was Bing. Chandler Bing. Boxes for balls. Whoa, look at you. Now you have six points too. We have three people in second place with six points. I've never had so many people doing so well in any of my trivia scopes. I apologize for the delay in getting to the end of this. Maybe we'll play till eight or nine next time. Everyone's saying what? I'm seeing answers before the question. Oh no. That's a bummer. That was too quick. I know, right? You were easily first, not on egg drop or on my screen. Which is the highest waterfall in the world? Which is the highest waterfall in the world? Okay, I see angel. I saw some word that started with a B. Is that another word for the angel falls? Um, so I saw Chad, the first person, he said angle, but I'm going to give it to Chad. It's different? Okay, okay. I don't, I don't know waterfalls, so. Chad is three points, and it's Angel Falls. That just ended my scope.